प्रणामाचार्य जी आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू क्वेश्चन दैट आई एम फीलिंग अ वर्ड विद इन माई सेल्फ फ्रॉम लास्ट फोर ईयर्स कैन से दैट अ वर्ड क्रिएटेड विद इन मी बिकॉज ऑफ अ पर्सन हुम आई लव बट इन द बिगनिंग एज इट इज इट क्रिएटेड अ टाइम पीरियड ऑफ फोर ईयर्स सो इन द बिगनिंग आई हैव ट्राइड द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड टू फिल दैट वर्ड बट आई हैव फेल्ड मेरी क्लोसली बट आई केम टू नो अबाउट यू इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो एज आई स्टार्ट इन लिसनिंग टू यू आई हैव थिंकिंग दैट आई हैव टू चूज अ राइट पाथ आई हैव टू चूज अ हाई अ गोल टू बी इंगेज विद एंड टू फील दैट वर्ड दैट इज इन साइड मी to so for that i have developed so many things uh, within me like uh, i have started writing poems i have been playing cricket and so many other things i am pursuing my graduation from du and st- uh, also preparing for upsc i have no such time left for me to think about me what i am actually doing with my life but at the very moment when i finish or accomplish the thing uh, or the goal that i have accomplished right now i am left with the same void or uh, the void is always the same of always the same person that never changes so i want to answer ask uh, i want to ask you that uh, what is the right way to deal with that void and what is the right way to cope myself with that void or i have to live with that void because i have searched for that uh, question with so many people like uh, from last 6 months that void is now converting into the suffering and pain in the form of uh, tears that set from my eyes and uh, so for that i don't want to be in that phase i really don't want to be in that phase i want the way to deal with that that how can i get something better and something right to do with myself to be out of that a love affair a girl uh that doesn't occur she denied for uh she denied at the f- very first moment then i have never asked her uh we are rare in contacts at uh, moment within months or from two or three months we talked to her in the chats or and nothing else we met uh, for the last time when our board exams were over it was a uh, part the uh, past three years and i have never see- i have not seen her f- from that time it's for this person that you have this craving yeah right? yeah yeah same for the same person see you don't get attracted to just everybody some practical facts first you get attracted to someone who is almost at the same level of consciousness as you are we all have a particular <coughs> mental range the one you feel attracted towards has to lie within that range if that fellow is far below your station you will not feel attracted if that fellow is far above your attra- station you will again not feel attracted do you see this ha huh? you you might uh, for example just just desire um, a hollywood actress or or a miss universe or somebody but you would not even think of having that person as your life partner your wife as your love affair right why because that person in your own estimate is far above your range of partnership do you see this hmm? do you see when you are envious you are usually envious of those who lie within your range if someone is far superior to you you don't even feel envious do you see this ha huh? so there is a particular person and the person has probably offered you rejection or or has not been warm enough something what do you do raise yourself 
as long as that person is within your range of acceptability you will keep cultivating the hope that one day you will have that person for yourself you will not be able to get rid of that hope the purpose of life is elevation of consciousness the person that you are within has to improve and has to improve so much that the person you today pine for huh simply drops below your range you start saying you know i just don't feel any attraction and this that i'm saying is not at all disrespectful towards the other person because i'm not talking of pulling the other one down i'm talking of raising yourself up and if the other person his is her own well wisher i would advise her as well you raise yourself up fine but because that person has not come to me to seek advice so i only have you to speak to and to you i say raise your game raise your game and exceed the one you were desirous of please understand this the ones you like at one level of maturity in life are just not the ones you will like at another level of maturity in life and that's an auspicious sign that simply means that you are outgrowing the world at age 18 you were prepared to die for someone and you know, i'll lay down my life for you darling if at age 28 if that person is still your dream master then probably there is a problem or there is a great coincidence that the person has grown at an equal speed ideally you should be outgrowing your likes and desires at a very rapid rate do you still like the toys you at age 3 when you were 3 you had a favorite toy do you remember it but sir you are dehumanizing my love you are reducing her to a toy sir let's talk facts ha huh? at your age when you get attracted to a girl obviously the two of you are toys to each other are you not or is it consciousness getting attracted to consciousness no it's just body and body and you will toy with each other's body the moment you get chance what happens to the toys that were your favorites at age 3 you outgrow them when you are 6 then you outgrow the 6 year toys at 10 and then 15 and then 20 and you move on that progression is the essence of life come on rise move on how can you still be attracted towards that same person how is it sounding too brutal in human death knell of relationships ha huh? the woes to accompany each other for seven births that can happen only if both of you are totally stagnant is it not ha huh? take this at least as a fresh perspective i'm not asking you to accept it people grow differently the one who at appears attractive to you today why do you take it as a mandate to be with him even 10 years later that person can outgrow you or you can outgrow that person or the two of you can grow in different directions what is the need to be so sticky to each other or are you welded you know even if you weld two different metals together 
what happens when they are heated and their coefficient of expansions are different what happens because they are different and they will behave differently and move differently but our culture you know we are told you know once you have fallen in love with someone at the ripe old age of 8 years you should continue be with her for the next 7 births leave her alone she has a life to live ha huh? growing out of your partner might be a sign of maturity and it also might be a sign of compassion think of it often in the name of love we just impose ourselves on someone who was unfortunate enough to once say yes to us 5 hmm? years back she said yes so even today i am at her throat and the rest of her body you remember that day you said yes yes so you have to live by your yes baba she was internally drunk forgive her just issue a general pardon and let her go but you'll say no but be wafa you said yes and in most cases there is no yes at all even the yes is not there and yet the allegation is there you know you disloyal what is loyalty what do you mean by loyalty what do you mean by continuation in time if you really have love for someone you make the sky available to them you let them fly free is that not an expression of love or is clinginess an expression of love i will stick to you and if i cannot stick to you physically then i'll stick to you in my memories that's what all defeated lovers do right i cannot touch you physically so i'll touch you in my and those are the memories we cherish don't we you know you remember the that's also the stuff of most of our songs i fully appreciate i'm not being heartless i fully appreciate how difficult it is to get rid of all that but i also know the consequences of sticking to something other than the truth if you have to stick ha huh? stick to greatness stick to truth stick to a wonderful purpose don't stick to a mere girl set her free 